Knowing the type of dreams you've had is super easy and it's a kind of shortcut you can use when interpreting your dreams. Hi dream besties, Karen here. I help you go from WTF to AHA after your dreams. And in today's video, I'm going to show you my list of 12 types of dreams that we have. The first dream is the one that we all think about when we think about interpreting dreams and that is messages from your subconscious. And many dreams are messages from your subconscious. Some scientists don't believe that's the case, but others do. And I happen to fall into the camp that does believe that many dreams are messages from your subconscious. However, they aren't all messages. So if we look at this list and we have one of these dreams, we can tell, oh, is this one to interpret or not? Number two is the problem solving dream. Now these are dreams where our brain is kind of processing the information that's been happening, things that are going on in our life the past couple days, but looking for solutions, looking for connections that might not make sense logically, but they make sense in the dream world. And these are ones that are kind of, they're a little more bizarre and they don't always have meaning, but you don't know it's a problem solving dream until after you have attempted to interpret it. If you've tried to interpret the dream and you still, it's not resonating, there's no message coming through, then that was a problem solving dream. And we will talk more on this channel about the difference between problem solving dreams and messages from the subconscious and how to interpret. Number three is nightmares. Everybody has nightmares. Some people have more nightmares than others. And sometimes when I tell people I talk about dream interpretation, that's one of the first things they say is, I have nightmares. I don't wanna know anything about dream interpretation because I have nightmares. The cool thing about dream interpretation is that it helps you to, it really helps you with nightmares and it can help you understand your nightmares and see them for the um, help that they give you as opposed to seeing them as this scary thing that's gonna keep you awake. That said, if you have really, really intense nightmares, I would try to find a psychologist who can help you with them. But if you just have the occasional nightmare here and there, then dream interpretation is very helpful for that. Number four, flashbacks. Now these are kind of like nightmares and flashbacks will often happen for people who have PTSD, have had some kind of trauma in their life. It can be, there's many traumas now, we now know, more than just being a soldier at war. So car accidents, plane um, accidents, uh, abuse of any kind, um, all kinds of traumas, but just even surgical um, things that go wrong in the hospital or things when you're a child, often if you had to have surgery as a child, that can be a traumatizing experience. So flashbacks are when you have the same memory over and over and over, and they're kind of a hallmark of PTSD. They don't happen just when you're awake. They also happen when you're asleep. Those are not something to be interpreted. The meaning of those dreams is that you do have trauma that needs healing with a psychologist, a counselor, a therapist. Um, so that's what those are for. Number five is wish fulfillment dreams. Now those are the fun ones and they're the ones we wanna have all the time and they're the ones that are happy and hopeful. Uh, sometimes when you have a dream and you interpret it and then you see what the meanings were in the dream of the symbols, then you'll realize, oh, this was a wish fulfillment dream. So those are dreams that feel good in the dream. We wake up with this good feeling um, and we remember them and we want to go back to them. Those are wish fulfillment dreams. And also they're dreams that when you're in them, you do something, you accomplish a goal or you do something that you know you're trying to do. Dream number six or the type of dream number six are recurring dreams. These are not flashbacks in the same way that you see the same thing over and over, but it's recurring because you have the same theme often. So maybe you dream of bats and the first time, you know, few times that you dream of bats, it's one or two bats. And then over time, over the years, you start to have dreams or maybe over a period of months, you have dreams where there's a lot of bats, right? And, and it kind of grows. Um, so that's kind of a recurring dream. Another one that's recurring is if you often have dreams that you're at school or you often have dreams that you're falling, failing a test, um, those are recurring. If you often have bathroom dreams and you know, every few weeks, oh, there was another bathroom dream, right? So recurring dreams aren't the same exact dream, but they're the same kind of type of symbol that you see over and over and over. And that means that you're not seeing 
or getting the message of the dream, or you just need to be reminded of the message of the dream. So we'll get more into recurring dreams on another video. Number seven, also fun dreams, are lucid dreams. Now lucid dreams is another thing that people, when I first start talking about dream interpretation, that's what they come to me and they say, oh, what about lucid dreams? Can you do lucid dreaming? We'll get into lucid dreaming on the channel, but uh, for now, for here, I wanna say lucid dreams are the kind of dream where you're in the dream and you know you're dreaming and you want to you can take charge of the dream, or for me, because I don't go through the work you need to do to be a lucid dreamer, I tend to kind of casually lucid dream when I'm in a dream and I'm like, okay, I wanna remember this symbol so that I look it up later. That's me being aware that I'm in a dream while also a part of me is aware that this is a dream. Flying dreams are also lucid dreams and they're super fun. So if you ever just happen to have flying dreams, and I have, and I do, and I love them, and I wish I could have them more, um, those are lucid dreams. Number eight is visitation dreams. Now these are almost always positive, and what happens in a visitation dream is someone who has passed away, could be recently, but it could be a long time ago, comes to you in the dream. You dream of them, and we call it a visitation because it feels like they come to you, and often, this is different from just dreaming about somebody who's passed away because in a visitation dream, they either give you something or they tell you, they give you a message, they tell you something, they might give you an object, and you have this overwhelming feeling of generally love um, or excitement, but generally there is this overwhelming feeling of emotion in a visitation dream or when you wake up and that's what a visitation dream is, and we'll talk more about those. Next we have number nine, a white dream. Now, I didn't know this term until recently, but a white dream is what happens when you wake up and you're like, wow, I know I had a dream, but I don't remember it. Like you have the feeling like, oh, there's a feeling. I had a dream, but you can't remember it. Or if somebody were to wake you up and say, hey, were you dreaming? And you'd be like, yeah, but I don't know what I was dreaming. That's a white dream. That's really important when you're new at trying to remember your dreams, when you're trying to improve your dream recall and you're using a dream journal, you want to pay attention to having white dreams because they count and they, they don't count as something to interpret, but they do count as knowing that, oh, my subconscious is trying to talk to me. And that's kind of priming the pump. Number 10, precognitive dreams. Some people have these more than other people do, um, and they can range from a precognitive dream that you don't even remember, like about a meeting that's gonna be rescheduled or that somebody puts a meeting on your calendar. However, there can be precognitive dreams about an accident that's going to happen, or um, generally that's what they tend to be, accidents that are gonna happen. I don't put someone dying in the precognitive category, and we'll get into that later in another video, but generally because people in dreams that are not visitations represent the qualities of the dreamer. So when you dream that someone has died um, or is going to die, you're dreaming about something in yourself that is ending in a new beginning. But precognitive dreams are about something that is going to happen and you often don't know it was precognitive until after it has happened. So that's, that's what those are. Number 11 is the dream within a dream. So a dream within a dream is when you, and you may have had this, you're in the dream, you're dreaming, you're asleep, you're having a dream, and you dream that you wake up, and then some things happen, and then you really wake up. <laughs> and you're like, wait, I thought I was awake, but I wasn't, I was in a dream. A dream within a dream is there to protect you from the intensity of the experience of the first dream. And it generally comes around things that are scary or that you're very worried about uh, that's why a dream within a dream happens. And we will, all of these, we're going to have, you know, I'll have different videos on each one going into more detail, but I just wanted to give you these 12 that I use as categories. The 12th and last dream is a healing dream. Now a healing dream is a little bit different from a wish fulfillment or a white dream, because in a healing dream, you wake up feeling very centered feeling calm, feeling centered, you might not remember the dream. So you don't know, there's not something to interpret, there's not something that you can point to and say, oh, now I feel better. But it tends to be a kind of, again, it's your system 
doing some some healing on you or for you. Uh, now, I do think that often the messages from the subconscious dreams, number one, I do think those can also be healing kinds of dreams because I think most of the messages from our subconscious are more healing than they are doom and gloom and scary. And that's why on this channel, we're celebrating dreams. We're talking about, we're having fun with dreams. That's why I like to talk about movies and movie characters and how dreams are portrayed and just have fun with our dreams because I believe that most dreams are healing dreams, but there is a special category of healing dreams. Within that category also falls dreams that are kind of your subconscious trying to tell you that you need to go to the doctor or the dentist or something like that. So teeth dreams often can be a message from your body saying, go to the dentist, especially if you haven't had a dental checkup in a while. So if you have a teeth dream, you know, teeth falling out, that kind of thing, it could mean that you're having communication issues, but it's also a good opportunity to be like, oh, have I been to the dentist in the past year? Maybe I need to go to the dentist. So healing dreams are about physical healing. That is my list of the 12 types of dreams. Now you might find some others that I didn't mention. Uh, is there one here that you've never heard of? Is there one I forgot? Let me know in the comments below. Click the like button if you liked this video. Let me know what you thought. And I hope you subscribe because there's gonna be a lot more on this channel all about dreams.